What we miss about not living in the United States anymore. Uh, we miss our family. We miss, you know, our kids, our grandchildren, spending time with them. doing things like that, uh, attending some of their activities that they do, especially with the grandchildren and sports. Um, and there isn't really a replacement for that here. Uh, you know, it's just something that we miss. We miss family time. Right, yeah, going over each other's houses, mm -hmm. visiting, and going out for meals, um, you know, um, helping my daughter in her garden. Um, you know, I miss hugs. Yeah. You know, I miss yeah. miss that sort of thing here because, you know, we're in Mexico and they're mm -hmm. not. Mm hmm The, uh, yes, you know, like I said, that's just the one thing you can't really replace here mm -hmm. uh, is, is family time if, you know, you're here in Mexico and they're in the United States or wherever they might be. Um, the second thing that we want to talk about that we miss is socializing with friends. those social uh, gatherings and events mm -hmm. um, more so me probably than yeah. Mark because he was still working I was right. not so I had more girlfriend quality time right. I could go out to coffee with my girlfriend um, girlfriends I could go you know have lunch with them um, dinners um, you know shopping whatever and and I don't really have that here mm -hmm. in Mexico. I'm more of the social butterfly than Mark yeah, is. Yeah, absolutely she is more yeah. of a social butterfly. And, um, you know, we used to do game nights like once a month um, with about eight or ten of our friends, something like that, and we would do like potluck uh, dinners, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I miss that. I don't, I don't have that connection here in Mexico, and it's mm -hmm. been uh, five months now since we left the United States. So I thought that that connection might be a little bit easier for me, uh, for us, but um, it hasn't been as easy as I thought it would be no. on connecting like that. No, not yet. And, and it, part of it's because our we're still working on our Spanish um, and that might be you know part of the issue. And now we're self-quarantining ourselves like a lot of other people are doing right now. So yeah, but there's kind of on hold. And there's also, you know, there's also expats here too. Yeah. That, you know, speak English. Yeah. But it's just I don't know. I just I just assumed it would be an easier connection than what it ended up turning out to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a few friends that we have, but I say few, meaning few. Um, not anything. I mean, there we've got acquaintances and stuff like that, and I'll go into that a little bit later. Um, you want to hit the next thing that we miss? Uh, the next thing we miss is working in our yard. We, we both love to do um, mm -hmm. outdoor activities in our, our yard like landscaping and stuff like that. We were uh, when we owned our own home in California, we were constantly out in the backyard, planting things, rearranging things, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's something that we both enjoy doing and take great pride uh, in what we got accomplished there. Here, um, you know, that we don't have a yard, it's just a, a bunch of cement, you know. <laughs> so we're you, renting so, right now in yeah, an apartment. So you can't really landscape cement. Um, <laughs> 
but you know, maybe later down the road we'll get into a place that has uh, some art yard that we can do something with. Yeah, it was just a, we both enjoyed it. So it was something that, it was calming. We would listen mm -hmm. to our music outside, work in the yard. Um, you know, it was just something yeah. that we do miss that we don't, we don't have here right now mm -hmm. in the five months that we've been in Mexico. Yeah. Okay, and one last thing for me. <laughs> Paulette misses mild hot sauce. Well, it's not really hot, but mild sauce from Taco Bell. I do. I miss my mild hot sauce from Taco Bell. Uh -huh. I'm real sensitive to hot. Uh -huh. uh, anything that I think is spicy, uh, Mark thinks is... Is at best mild. Mild, mild, mild. Yeah. And I've always been that way with stuff right. like that. And so... As crazy as it sounds, I love the mild hot sauce from Taco yeah. Bell. And when we do go back to the States, you can guess what I'm going to be packing a bunch of. Yeah. Because I'm real picky too. I don't like onions. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like peppers. I don't like a lot of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of salsas are like that. Yeah. But the one from Taco Bell, I know you guys are going to laugh at me, is plain. There's none of that stuff mm -hmm. in it. It's mild enough where I can put several packages um, yeah. on my food and still be good. Yeah. To be clear, we don't necessarily miss Taco Bell because tacos here are so much better, but she does miss the mild sauce from Taco Bell. I do, I do. Yeah. And you know, we don't do a whole lot of meat either. No. I mean, so, you know, when you go to the, um, you know, street vendors that are mm -hmm. selling their tacos and things like that, or to the restaurants. It's really hard to get something that doesn't have chicken, doesn't have right. beef, doesn't have pork. Just to find a bean burrito or a bean burrito with queso even is, it's difficult. It's here. really difficult here yeah. in Mexico, it is. So, so we do a lot of our We do a lot burritos. of that here, yeah, we just, you know, we make bean burritos and, and stuff at home. Because you don't typically find that in the restaurants mm -hmm. or and the uh or you know along the street with the street mm -hmm. vendors because they all do either beef or chicken something like pork. that. pork pork yeah yeah that's another big thing yeah here. so as crazy as it is that's something that mm -hmm. i do miss and when we return to the states to visit family and friends i will be bringing a bunch back with me that's for sure yeah if you like what we're doing please subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified every time that we put out a new video